girl And this is round two We recorded this And we didn't like it So we gonna do it again Okay, but hurry before I get out of the mood You're so annoying Do you love me? Oh, I said okay, Do you love yeah. me? Hey, yo, it's me, Carlos C, and we're back with another episode of, let them know what it is. From Baked Beast. And we have some news for you. Our 10-year wedding anniversary is coming up in a few weeks. We've been married 10 years. Feels like two minutes. Don't say it. Don't say it. Underwater. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a preacher told me that joke, so he's got... <laughs> It's, it's got, it's funny because I mean a preacher telling that joke. That's not funny. Anyway. But we've been dating for much longer. We started dating it back in 2006. A long time ago. So what do you think? How, how do you think we lasted this long? Tell me. What, what, do, you, what do you think the secret sauce is? Prayer. <laughs> Lots of prayer. Um, I agree. What you guys don't know is last year was one of the most trying years for our relationship, wouldn't you say? It was a hard one. Yes. 2020 was not nice. 2020 was not nice at all. It was a transition um, out of one church where we had a lot of responsibility. We put a lot of things in our relationship in the back burner and uh, it just kept growing. But since we were so busy, we mm -hmm. really didn't put any focus on it. You know, pandemic hit, you know, uh, all we had was time and we had to work, you know, all these things out. Wow. When you are sitting in the room and all that stare is your family, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys felt it <laughs> while we were in quarantine. Yeah, and you know, I remember this one time we were in the kitchen and we were arguing and it was probably one of the worst arguments that we've ever had to the point where we were even thinking, um, would it be best for us to separate for a little bit and to really, uh, evaluate if this relationship is something that we can continue in and I remember right there I like God stopped me in my tracks and and said how long are you going to go like this with without even bringing me back into the picture and I was mind blown and I told each other I was like whoa mid mid argument we, I was like whoa like how long are we gonna allow the enemy manipulate our relationship now mind you she's still angry so she's like don't try to apologize now and i was like no i'm not trying to apologize but really think about it like we stopped a lot of like the routines that we used to maintain our relationship why do you say all the good stuff and then pass it on to me i want to say the good stuff too say it girl um, say the good stuff say it <laughs> now it was a really it was a really heavy argument we did both think that that was it we both were thinking that maybe it was a good idea to give it a little break and just letting the, all this negativity fade into it. And you know, right now we could talk about it because we're past that point, mm -hmm. thankfully. But at that moment, if you would have asked me if that if I was going to be in this relationship for longer, I wouldn't be able to give you an answer because I didn't know. Things were very different. What was the cause? What, what do you think was the main cause of um, the what got us there in the first place? By the way, if you hear a child, it's ours. She, uh, Michelle's trying to put him to sleep. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. The reason that it happened is because we stopped taking care of each other and instead focused on ourselves. We became more selfish. I became very guarded. I couldn't trust you with what I was feeling. I you know, postpartum hormones, like I've mentioned before, those are a little rough to deal with as well. There was just a lot going on at the same time. And although we really wanted it to work, we wanted to, we wanted to fix things without changing anything, mm. you know? And That's good. as soon as I made a change, I was expecting to see a change on your side. And if it didn't happen, I would have come, come right back. Like, nope, it's not going to happen. So I would guard myself again. And it took a lot of trusting, a lot of believing that things were going to change. I, I think that's a big one. I believe it was a mixture of false expectations and pride that got us exactly where we were in the mindset that we were in. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. And like you said, we just stopped. Like it, it came to a point where my mindset was, well, if you're gonna act this way, then there's no reason for me to continue to like, is my light flicking? Is my light flicking right now? <laughs> yeah. uh, it's just, it just died. Am I still good? You're still good. This light just died and I don't wanna re-record, so we're just gonna leave it okay. um, dead. Like uh, my mindset was, yeah, if you're gonna stay the way that you are, then I'm gonna stop investing and I'm gonna see what you have to do. Like, what, what are you gonna do now? The ball's in your court, and I think that you were pretty much doing almost the same thing. Yeah, it was. So we ended up not doing anything. <laughs> not doing anything, but still having those really horrible expectations on each other. It was such a bad mixture, and that that we've been married for so long, we've given our relationship advice to a lot of people, so this is just a testament that you can have all the book smarts that you want, you can go to every conference you want to, but the moment that you slow down because you think you have everything uh, all together, or you have all the knowledge that you're possibly gonna need, um, and you stop working at it and you stop dating and you stop trying to uh, accommodate to one another, then you might as well sign the papers right there because you're setting yourself up for failure, right? That's true. And as much as you want to think, oh, it's because they know that I love them. As true as that is, you need constant action behind that word. At least I do. You know, I, I sometimes I need to feel like you're in the same page as I am. Mm -hmm. One thing that we've done from the beginning and, you know, we started slipping a little bit. We did slip a little bit was we made these borders, these parameters of respect that we do not cross. But hey, we just try to be transparent with y'all. You know, we saved mm -hmm. and everything, but there's been some times y'all got to tell you that there's, you know, on both sides that we've said things yeah. that are really we're saved, but we're not perfect. We're not trying to pretend to be perfect Sophisticated either. Ratchet is uh, the title that I like to. But the thing is that because we set those perimeters, whenever we cross that line, it feels so disgusting. It feels so gross when we do that. I, I admire that, that we were able to set these boundaries. You know what I mean? Um, straight out of the book, boundaries. I... <laughs> I don't think I read that book, so I can't quote it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. And if you are feeling that way, you know, if you feel like your marriage is at its last, you know, you're just hanging on by a thread. Uh, if you want us to pray for you, we are open to it. Feel free to reach out to us. We love it when we get feedback. We love to pray for you. We love to uh, to just be of any help if we can that's why we're so transparent with these things because i know we know that there may be someone out there going through the same thing thinking that this is it thinking that their life is falling apart when in reality there's just so much more to give maybe that's the reason that you are watching this video right now so reach out to us we're here for you and then the church folk that you do talk to tell you a cookie cutter answer you know yeah, that my crazy. My family is on fire right now, and they really don't have um, the proper guidance. Where and this is why it's so important to be able to come find somebody, find a couple, or find somebody that you can speak to mm -hmm. that's been through something, mm -hmm. and that that you feel really comfortable in saying, "Man, this is where we're at," and that you know that they're going to. Uh, respect you. yeah respect what you're going through and not tell the world and also going to give you that strength like my wife said yeah strengthen you and not give you the worldly advice but actually give you advice that is going to benefit you as opposed to you know make things worse you know you, we always have that friend that things that you could do better the things that your spouse is like the worst you got a friend that you. wait you have a friend that thinks you can do better who that friend Oh, well, I haven't figured that part out yet, but I know most people have that friend. Oh, okay. Um, but there's always someone who would, who is going to give you that advice. Because to be honest, that's all they know. Mm. Their life is more screwed up than anything, but yep. they know the solution to your life. Be careful with those people. Don't be asking 
single folk for advice. When you marry, no marry, don't ask single folk, marry folk questions. <laughs> then you wonder why y'all screwed up. And then you ask your best friend that don't, don't like your girl. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. How are you gonna ask your best friend that don't like your girl yeah. the, the advice and he, what, what do you think? They're just waiting for that moment. They're just waiting for that moment for you to be like, so we're having problems. They could be like, Man, I up. told you never to mess with her. Like, you know what I mean? Like, look at you now. Look at you. Who, te who tells you that, Carlos? <laughs> <laughs> Matt? No, what you mean, Matt? Alex? Matt's on your side. <laughs> Alex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know it's you, Alex. <laughs> you know, one thing that we're discovering every single day is to evaluate, to evaluate our relationship, to evaluate each other, to evaluate our own individual self. Mm -hmm. That's why I recommend um, resources like... The Five Love Languages. Yes, Five Love Languages and all of the resources behind it. There's devotionals, pillows, blankets, and everything <laughs> else you can possibly quizzes. think Quizzes. <laughs> you can take quizzes for free online on the Five Love Languages, guys. I'm not kidding. Google it. You'll Man, see it. they've stretched that Five Love Languages. But that's good material. That's I'm trying to remember who the... the yeah, we got like three copies. Is. You want a copy? Let me know. I'll send it to you. I'll mail it to you. I'll take it to your house. I'll wear a mask. It's just not through USPS because I'll never get no, it. No, that you'll never get it through USPS. <laughs> but is this a weight loss vlog or is this a marriage? Man, vlog? how did we get into that? I just want to let them know that we've been together ten years. Ten years. I'm very proud of us. I'm pretty proud of us too. So you want to let them know how we've been doing? I love my husband. He's so handsome. I love you, girl. Anyway, we've been doing. We've been doing okay. You know, we're still sticking to it. We're still uh, hanging on to the 21-day meal plan. Meal prep has been our best friend. And finding different snacks for us to just snack on throughout the day has been our new thing, I guess. Um, we actually found these mango, these dried mango slices at Costco that are amazing. They're dangerous, though. They're really dangerous. So you have to really portion yourself. But at the same time, they're very healthy. We also found some coconut uh, pieces and that one has been really good for my breast milk, so it's been great. But my challenge is still that. My milk production is not as good as I want it to be. It went up temporarily, but now it's kind of going back down. Let's talk about these coconut chips though. Uh, they taste, they're really good. We found these coconut chips that are really, really good. But Costco, why every time we start to like something, you decide you want to take it off the menu? Always. Always takes it off the menu. It was helping out the wife. She was getting her milk supply back. I was digging it. I could eat a little more of that than mm -hmm. I could the mangoes. And then you say no more. Um, you just want to take it off the shelf. I know. It's always so hard to find a good snack, too, that helps with everything. But my wife has been throwing down in the kitchen. She actually added a new item to the menu. Let Yay! them know. Let them know what you added. Some salmon with some black beans and some brown rice. But that salmon was good. How'd you make it? Tell them how you made it. So I sauteed the fish. I seasoned it with the usual seasonings that I used that I've mentioned in the past. But I also made a salsa roja. Uh, if you guys want the recipe, feel free to reach out to me. And the fact that this salsa is spicy gives it such a good kick. I swear, it feels like we're, we don't. I don't even miss the salt. Do you miss the salt? Yeah, it's been pretty good. She doesn't want to tell you the name of the pepper that she used. Um, that was in the other video that we recorded that we're not going to put up. Um, <laughs> this is actually us recording this for the second time. But I'm going to cut that and put that in right now. Same seasonings that I usually use, but I used um, also some chile guajillo and some spicy ones. We call them cola de rata to spice it up a little. Oh. Wait, what? It's called cola de rata. Wait, what? That's what we call it. Um, do I have to bleep, do I have to bleep that out? Do I have to bleep that out? People know. Mexicans know. I don't. Maybe one day I don't like I'll that. share my salsa recipe. So wait, because in listen. the English, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> let's hold on a minute. Please. When? Who named it that? I don't know. Who? 
Who I mean, names it? Looks like the table. Why would you say that? Like that's so bad. <laughs> the English translation to what? Say it again. No. Is not saying it. Is the rat's booty? The <laughs> rat's tail, not the rat's booty. The, no, it's the rat booty and the rat's tail. There's no reason to name a vegetable think, rat booty. Is it the? Is it the? Like, does it look like one? Does it smell like it? It's the dried version of the smaller jalapeno peppers. Man, I don't understand. You guys have way too much time. Why are they red? Now that I think about it. I don't it. know why. I don't know why. The, the, I don't care about the redness. I just care about the name. Like, I don't want... If you guys know why it's red, let me know. Don't, don't tell me what's in my food no more. If you're going to use Mexican herbs that are named weird things like Goodness. that. Wow, really? You're so annoying. An update from me. I am still on the road of trying to lose 75 pounds in three months. We are on month two actually there's only three weeks left and i still need to lose 25 pounds yep you are so crazy for doing this um i started off at 419 watch episode three. watch episode three oh, was it episode four i uh i recently just weighed in at uh 369 mm. so i uh i broke the 70s and now i'm in the 60s That's which i'm exciting. really excited about Tell them about your clothes. My clothes are fitting really loose. Yes, they are. He went down two sizes in his pants. He was a 4X, a tight 4X on his shirt. And now we're starting to fit in a 2X, which is mm. it's really exciting. It's pretty good. That, I mean, this, that's when it kind of started to hit me that um, it's becoming real. You know what I mean? Other than me having a jawline now and my <laughs> second neck is starting to disappear. <laughs> that is amazing. Man. My wife has this whole thing about taking before and after pictures. Oh, I do want to take an after picture. But it's too soon. It's still too soon. No. I'm still, I'm, I feel like I'm still a big guy. So you're not, like, I don't like when it's a before and after picture and they both look the same. Talking about, look at, I look good now. And you're like, homie, you look, you look the same, That's bro. So you're you still wearing see. the same. But you can see the difference. Your before and after pictures, you can see the difference. Me... I don't I don't think it. I posted a picture on Facebook the other day. It's a black and white photo and people are like, did you Photoshop that? And I'm like, no, bro. I look this. I look the same. Mm -hmm. You I do look, not look. The, and that's why I need to take an after picture. It's not Photoshop. It's, not it's just black and white. It's not necessarily an after picture. It's a picture of what you look like now versus how you look when you started. And it's just a motivation for you. You ever, you know, people come up to meet you and you're like, they're like, wow, are you losing weight? And, you know, you're like, yeah, I am. You know, I got nothing else to say. But imagine if I was to be able to lose 75 pounds in three months. I'd be like, yeah, dude, you didn't know I lost 75, I lost 75 pounds in three months. Ain't that pretty cool? And they'd be like, oh, right on. But you do have a big wow factor. Like, it's pretty, and just the fact that you, at this point, almost hit 50 pounds lost. It's pretty amazing. It is 50 pounds lost. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it, why, why exact, did, it's exactly you, 50 pounds. Why do you have to correct me? Put some respect on my name. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so you've lost 50 pounds. How do you feel? I feel like I want to lose 75 in three months. That's how I feel. I think you feel better than that. Let's hear it. I just really, I, I'm really stoked that we're doing this together, to be honest with you. I'm really yeah. excited that we're able to sit together and talk about meals and talk about you know, our journey and talk about what we want to do to continue and be confident. You know, like we've had good times, but we have bad. We've had day, you know, we've had weeks that we lost 10 pounds, 5 pounds, 3 pounds, 2 pounds. And then the very next day we gain four pounds and then we're like, <laughs> yeah. bring that same energy mm. and keep going. And, and yeah. I love that we're doing this together and that we're so motivated on doing it. Yeah, that's true. Not only that, it's good that because we are doing it together, you're not randomly pulling up to a Wendy's drive through asking me if I want anything, knowing darn well that I do want something, but I'm going to try to say no. So the fact that he's doing this now is so, so good because now we both like, if he feels weak, I can be like, no, we're not going to do it. You are doing so good, and we're going to continue doing this. I got to tell you, though, uh, one thing that I do miss that I would totally, I'm down for right now, is chicken nuggets. Like, chicken nuggets with sweet and sour sauce is my jam. But here's the thing. I say this 
But then when I eat it, it's a disappointment. <laughs> it is. We, okay, listen, we... We had some friends over. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna say no names. But when Alex and Alex came over, <laughs> uh, we were chilling. Um, we were doing real good. But they're bad influence. And what happens is they were like, we haven't eaten yet. And you know, we're like, man, but we're on this health. And then you know, they start talking about us and stuff. None of this is true. <laughs> but they did come over, and we're kind of like, man, we've been doing so good. Let's order some pizza. Let's, you know what I mean? Let's let's indulge in some yum yums. And we order some pizza. From one of the best pizza places in Chicago. From Mama Luna. And it got here. But immediately I knew it wasn't going to be good. Because usually we get the box with the Italian flag on it. And it's greasy. And, you know, you kind of already have expectations that you're about to taste a piece of heaven. You know what I mean? In your mouth. It's going to be delicious. But it was nothing like that. When the driver got here, it, was, it looked like an Amazon box. <laughs> and we got it upstairs, and we opened it. It looked decent, but the sauce was wrong. The cheese was wrong. No, it's that your taste buds are changing. It's like everything's being renewed. Because now we're eating really, really good. We're eating really, really healthy. I, guys, you don't understand how healthy It's crazy. I buy all this fruit for the week, and it, it's gone. Yeah, that pizza, I, it took me a while to lose that extra pizza weight. Yeah, I, I just... My fear is that I'm going to order some chicken nuggets and I'm expecting it to be, like, good. Mm -hmm. And um, it's going to let me down. So, so um, don't order chicken nuggets. No, I'm just going to... <laughs> just imagine them. I'm just going to remember chicken nuggets and other meals that I used to enjoy without you. <laughs> One thing I do crave is a big Wendy's burger. Mm, they're so good. Think about it. Between you and I... There's already seven, 70 pounds lost. 70. Have you ever lifted 70 pounds? I am not looking on the bright side yet. I still have three weeks to lose 75 pounds. I'm not, though, I'm not thinking about stopping this anytime soon, but I need these little wins. It's, they're called non-scale victories. And together we've lost 70 mm -hmm. pounds. Do you know how much gas we're saving in the Mazda because of that? <laughs> Because <laughs> we're not as heavy as we used we're to be. Not as heavy as we're, used to be. <laughs> we're saving gas. <laughs> you petty. <laughs> but that's it. This is where we want to leave it. We just wanted to give you an update on where we're at for the month of March. And if there's more stuff that you guys want to see, let us know. If you want to see how we step on the scale, how we measure ourselves, how we cook certain meals, we are definitely open to that uh just let us know let us know what you want to see and we're, we'll just show if you don't want to just watch us sitting here and just talking about this let us know we can add a little bit more to it for sure do you know how my wife measures my waist <laughs> she grabs the measuring tape and pretends she's going to give me a hug i don't pretend all right she pretends pretend. like she's going to give me a hug like from the back and i'm thinking oh she loves me but instead she has measuring tape in her hand <laughs> and she sneaks hey that's a good six inches lost there's no other way i would know that i'm just gonna leave that right there and let you guys think about that thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet what should they do like, share, subscribe. And if you found value in this video, give us a like. Until next time.